What's going on guys? My name is Dylan DeJesus. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today we are going to be talking about how to convert your Jumpman to a character. More specifically with the theme we're working on today, we have a Batman vs. Joker pair of Jordan 3s that we are about 80% done with or so. So one of the first times that I ever saw this done on a pair of shoes was all the way back in 2011. El Capi did a pair of Freddy Cougar Jordan 6s and on the back of the Jordan 6s he decked out the Jumpman with a Freddy Cougar style and I just thought it was one of the coolest, most creative thing ever and you've probably seen a lot of other people do this over the years. So today we're gonna be walking you through the steps that you need in order to take your simple Jumpman logos and we're gonna go ahead and convert them into some really cool characters. But let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit and talk about how we got here. So if you're somebody who likes to do airbrushing on your shoes, a really important step to take before we do any of this character work on our Jumpman is to at least lay down one coat of paint directly on top of this. This is just gonna cover up the stitching in a way that airbrushing doesn't. You're applying a little bit more paint here and this is just gonna give us a better surface to work on later once we're trying to really add in some character details onto this Jumpman. So I'm just going to do one coat of paint by hand with whatever color my background is going to be behind the Jumpman itself. Since we're going for a dark night theme on the Batman shoe, I'm going for that really sleek look, adding matte blacks and things to really encapsulate his suit. And then for the Joker theme, I'm going for that pure evil gritty look. So here you can see us utilizing our Joker stencil. If you guys are interested, we'll have that link down below too. So tools wise for today's video, this is one of the first times where me figuring out the whole toothpick technique really came in handy because you can do some really cool details with it. And then when we move into some of our detail brushes, potentially for like Heath Ledger's hair. This is when I'll be using some Zem Gold Synthetic, really tiny detail brushes. So let's go ahead and first lay down a simple base coat of a color like mist across both of our Jumpmans so then our colors will really pop. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and Google the Heath Ledger Joker outfit just so I can get a full viewing of everything that he's wearing. I wanna see the color of his shoes, his gloves, and then you'll start to see that he has, you know, the green vest, the hexagon shirt, and we're just gonna get a very good visual of all of the details, those tiny little details that we're gonna start to paint into our Jumpman. Another way that you could take this a step forward to better plan out for yourself is going ahead and pulling up a Jumpman silhouette, bringing it into a program like Procreate, and just essentially starting to mock up where all of these details are going to go first, just so you can really start to give yourself a nice clean map to follow. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is laying down the purple for the trench coat. Since he's wearing a long trench coat, and if he actually were to jump and make the jump man pose, obviously some of the long portions of the coat would be kind of hanging out past the silhouette of the jump man. So that's where we need to extend our range a little bit, and that's what you'll see me doing here. The next thing I'm gonna do is on the underside of the coat, if he were to reverse it, there's kind of like this copperish orange color that I found in some photos. So that's what I'm gonna be painting underneath his legs. Once this all comes together, you'll start to visualize it better. Forgive the little camera hanging out right over my shoulder. It may look a little weird right now, but we gotta do what we gotta do for some sick angles so you guys can see this all come together. Next up, we're gonna paint in the details of his green vest. Now we're gonna go ahead and paint in his shirt, tie, gloves, and shoes. I also decided that I'm gonna replace the portion of the silhouette where the jump man is holding the ball and we're gonna swap that out with a joker card. Now it's time to pack all the tiny little details into the face like the makeup and the green hair. So 
So here you can see from this close up, I'm adding a little bit more detail by outlining some different parts of the character himself. This is completely optional and it kind of depends on the look and feel you're going for. Off camera, I also decided to add a red outline around the character. I really needed to find a way to make him pop a little bit more up against this purple background. And it was also just another way for me to add a little bit more red into the shoe. And now you can see from some of these other pictures how these two jump men turned out. There's some really cool angles where where you get to see these kind of from the front, the Joker versus Batman look and feel. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of the shoes. So there you have it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video of seeing how to convert a simple Jordan Jumpman into a really cool character style. This is something that can really be a cool finalized touch and it's something that definitely always wows people. Anytime people come here and they check out some of our shoes that we have over in our display area, anytime we have kind of one of these styles where the Jumpman is decked out in something, that's kind of always a really cool detail that kind of the regular average person can really enjoy and you know get some enjoyment out of. So definitely something to consider adding to your projects. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you guys in that next video.